at around 11.46 p.m. I had already laid down when arose the sudden urge to urinate. Doing my best to not alarm or interrupt my sleeping wife with such an intricate and small matter, I made my way to the bathroom and went on with my business. My aim was steady, but in my mind a storm was brewing. For the first time in my life, uncertainty had snuck into my brain. My deep thought was not interrupted by a slip in my target zone that was staying the floors yellow. A slip that would eventually cause my wife to slip the next morning and make me a widow. I was only awakened by the sounds of fireworks, and as the year changed, I realized I had to change. I knew I had to run for political office, and that I think covers most of 1998. Let's continue. On January 1st, 1999... <laughs> What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? I went back to the bedroom, and then I laid down, and started counting sheep. One, two, do you think it worked? Three, four, five. So far, I must say, Smith, I was getting bored with the senator's stories. Yeah, for once, I agree, Jones. Anyway, this job is a bit frustrating. When I got called in, I was in the process of watching paint dry. What? Why? My cousin said that watching paint dry is more exciting than listening to me talk. I didn't believe him at first, but after following the process for two weeks, I must admit it is quite intriguing. You've been watching paint dry for two weeks? You've been patrolling with me for two... Hold on. I thought my car was leaking oil. That's paint? Yeah, you think I'd take off two weeks to watch paint dry? I'm surprised you didn't and I'm worried about the fact that I am. Anyway, what are we doing here? Did you not listen to the chief again? No, no, I was watching paint. Paint dry, yes, I know. You only need your eyes for that. N not exactly. Listening is also a very, very important part in watching paint dry. The tripling sound is very intriguing also. Oh yes. Enough about the paint. Senator Samson Hughes, who happens to be a candidate for president of Antnia, oh Jesus, has been receiving these notes. Me? What? Why, Smith? <sighs> Senator Hughes has been receiving these death threats from an unknown sender. And as the election is next week, we've been assigned to protect the senator until after the election is over. Ah, that makes sense. Right? Not so complicated after all. We just have to keep him safe for a week. And then I can get back to watching- Oh! I'd rather listen to Senator Hughes recite his entire autobiography than hear one more word about paint. Senator Hughes? Are you thinking what I'm thinking? The Senator's been taken! Senator! Senator Hughes? Sir! Oh! Detective Smith! I realized I made a terrible mistake. In my memoirs, I wrote that my identical twin brother, Ulysses, whom you might remember that I had that terrible fallout in midsummer 1996, was born three, and not four, minutes after myself. Okay, but 
Sir, you, you need to remain in our immediate vicinity. Please come with me. Oh, right. <clears throat> of course. Yeah. Okay. Jones, what the hell are you doing now? Looking for Senator Hughes, of course. I, I found him, he's right there. Oh. That man is almost two meters tall, weighs a hundred kilos, and you're looking for him between the cushions? Well, at the time we didn't know what we were dealing with. You know, it could have been aliens who took him. You know, with alien drinking technology. That stuff could be real, aliens are smart. But you're not! How did you ever become a cop? Detective Hammerstone broke the scale at his health checkup and Sir Carlson vowed that he would find a better policeman by picking the first pedestrian at random. Well, Sheriff Carlson was wrong! All you do is annoy me and stop me from doing proper police work! But... But you're my only friend. Friend? All you've ever done for is eat my whipped cream and almost get me killed. We're not friends. Although that one time you saved my life and then that other time when you saved my life. Jones. Jones, wait. Jones, I'm sorry. Jones! Come on! Come back here! What have I done? Senator? Senator Hughes! Jesus, Senator! You just can't... You, I told you to stay here! Why the outfit change? What you gonna do? What you gonna do?